Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Adoptive Project Framework. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management and uh, you are willing to know about the project management methodology. So today's topic is very, very interesting for you. So let's uh, start, friend. First of all, I have request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So, uh, friend, today's topic is Adoptive Project Framework. So, now what it is actually? Uh, friend, in 2010, the Robert K. Wesky, a recognized strategic leader in the field of project management, published the book Adoptive Project Framework, managing complexity in the face of uncertainty in which, that he, in which he describes the AFP approach actually. Friend, the AFP method or Adoptive uh, Project Framework was created to constantly adopt to changing environment of a project, thus nothing is fixed with this approach, neither the duration of the project, nor the budget, nor the risk, and it is possible to cert continually adjust everything according to changes in the characteristics of the project. To use the same uh, metaphor that Robert K. Fiske used in his book to manage your project effectively with the APF method, you must think like a chef not a cook. The cook is just following the recipes and if an ingredient is missing, he may be completely lost and wouldn't know how to continually continue following his recipe. On the other hand, a chef has the skills and experience to adopt to the situation and create delicious recipes with the ingredients that are available. In order for this methodology to be successfully implemented, these two conditions are essential. Your team must not be res resistant to change. On the contrary, it must be able to accept it, adopt to it, and learn it. The client must be fully involved in the management of the project from start to finish, and your team must maintain a relationship of trust based on exchanges. Finally, uh, remember in mind that AFP is not a universal approach to be used as such but that it continually adopts to change. It uses the just-in-time planning approach. It considers the client as the main decision maker. It provides maximum business value and it eliminates anything that does not add value. So now the question is that how does actually it work? So uh, the method that how it works the adoptive project framework methodology consists of five basic steps. First step is the definition of the project scope. To begin with it, it is essential to define what will satisfy the customer. In other words, what is the objective of the project? What are the customer's needs to be met? It is therefore a question of determining the conditions of satisfaction. Don't forget that a project without a precise goal is doomed to fail. Obviously, the customer must validate the requirements. Then you have to draw up the project overview statement, which summarizes the conditions of satisfaction, describes what will be achieved and how, and lists the risk and potential obstacles as well as the predictions for success. Finally, you must produce three documents the list of functional requirements that prioritizes the actions to be carried out. This list may change as the project progresses. The project work breakdown structure which breaks down the work to be done to achieve the project objectives. The scope triangle which shows how the different constraints of the project, namely time, uh, the project, cost and the scope of the project influence the quality of the project. Next one is the cycle schedule. The project is divided into mini projects or cycles, also called as iterations, and each cycle must provide one or more deliverables. This second step involves the planning of each project cycle. The objective is to define and plan the task to be accomplished. You list the individual tasks to be carried out according to the WBS work breakdown structure, establish the order in which they are to be carried out. Identify their interdependencies, 
assign them to your employees and define their deadlines. Third point is carrying out the cycle. Friend, in this stage, we start working on the project, follow and adjust the cycle as you go along. The cycle ends uh, where the previously defined time has elapsed. Anything not completed in this cycle will be carried over to the next cycle. In each cycle, it is important to note all requests for change and ideas for improvement. Problem in counted uh, should also be noted so that they can be addressed in subsequent cycles. The customer checkpoint. This is an essential step in the AFP method. The client reviews the quality of what has been delivered during this cycle. Together with the project manager, they play any corrections or improvements to be made in the next iteration. From there, the process repeats itself, planning, execution and verification until the project is completed. The final report. At the end of the project, the project manager, the team and the client evaluate the success of the project and determine whether the objectives have been achieved. The document what was learned and identify possible process improvements for future projects. So the conclusion is that each project is unique. The methods used to manage them should therefore also be unique and adopted to circumstances of each project. This is the case with the adoptive project framework methodology which offers great flexibility and makes it possible to work jointly with the client throughout the project to ensure client satisfaction and therefore the success of the project. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.